Hello. Today I've come over to All Saints Church to the prayer wall where I've lit some candles to remember the lives of those who have died from the coronavirus. It has just been announced that the death toll has now reached the figure of 100,000. It is a grim figure, but as the archbishops write in their letter to the nation today, which was published, this is not just a, a statistic. Each one was a person loved by God and by their families and friends. Each one was a treasured child, son or daughter, mother or father. Each one will leave a hole in a family somewhere in the country, and each one will be mourned and grieved. The letter from the Archbishops of Canterbury and York is available, and we'll put a link in this newsletter for you. They also issue a call to prayer for our nation starting next Monday, the 1st of February. They're calling all people of faith to join together in prayer at six o'clock each evening. Resources are available on the Church of England website and we can send those out in our next week's newsletter as soon as they're ready. We do hope that many people will join in prayer for our nation and our world at this critical time. We lament the huge loss that has been reported today. We join in praying for those who have lost loved ones, those who have cared for those who have been ill, those who work in the NHS, and those who are currently sick and battling with this terrible disease. We pray that God will uphold all those who work in hospitals and healthcare centres, that he would give strength and resilience and would protect their lives. We also pray for all those who are suffering loss, fear and anxiety during this time. We have all suffered in one way or another, through the loss of our freedom. We have missed seeing our friends and families and loved ones. We've missed worshipping together in our churches. And we are fearful of the economy and what this is doing for people's jobs and livelihoods. There are so many things on our hearts at this time and we cry to God to be alongside us and all people at this very difficult and sad time. When we face sad and difficult times, it's always good to turn to the Psalms and to find solace, comfort and consolation from the words of the Psalmist, who seems to express just what we need to say to God at this time. So I'm going to read Psalm 42. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God. With glad shouts of, and songs of thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. My soul is cast down within me, therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep, all at the thunder of your cataracts, all your waves and your billows have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully because the enemy oppresses me? 
as with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. So we finish with a prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we remember before you the thousands who have died, surround us and all who mourn with your strong compassion. Be gentle with us in our grief, protect us from despair, and give us grace to persevere and face the future with hope. In Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen.